to continue our video series about the real application cluster database migration and upgrade. Right? Here is the one to do the upgrade. The last time we did the migration database already migrate to the new ASM 19C one. So in this talk, we're going to talk about it, how we do the upgrade. System by now is everything only on node one because database. Remember, we're in the cluster, the database. So two, three, four. There's no database can access both from there. So um, upgrade database. In this case, the database will show you is a 12C to 19C. This is what we're going to do. And by the way, this is an upgrade. You can do the direct upgrade to 19C. You can from 18C, 12.2, 12.1, 11, 12.4. But in case we have it's 11, 12, you cannot do it. You have to do 11, 203 to 11, 204 first and then go to 19C. But for 12C, we have, it's fine, can directly go to 19C. For the high level, generally, we have four categories. First is the pre-upgrade check. The second is the pre-upgrade tasks. The third one will be upgrade self tasks. And then we finish upgrade, go to post-upgrade tasks. Four categories, I see the detail here. The first pre-upgrade Upgrade checks, right? Uh, first, to check invalid. Uh, actually, say so if you have some invalid database, not to stop your upgrade database, it'd be fine. No big deal. So, database label security for say Oracle database about this one to check it. I select from this uh, DBS role, find this one. No, we're fine. So, manual rip move the database control with this guy is EM. EM probably most of the database you have it. Right? You use the database EM uh, you know the control to manage your database. You remove it using this command. EM remove dot sequel in database. So next one we check to see if there's any backup in database. No active. So not active or this kind of checking to see the anything uh, you can find. Uh, if in the model of backup, of course, you cannot do anything with it. Uh, the next one, the purge recycle bin. You purge DBA recycle bin. Gather statistics. Uh, you should make it your job fast, but actually I didn't do it. It take quite a long time. Um, I didn't see any really benefit for it. All lab data security policy just uh, is work I'll ask you to pay attention to part it. Uh, this uh, database data security role could be invalid uh, if uh, say in the database 11G the case security policy uh, so just check it but I didn't check it all so but log change tracking this one um, it should be disabled and then you select from this view block change tracking to see it enable disable. If it's enabled, you every database disable block change tracking. Another one called this one should be the synonymy, but it's not uh, some table or something else. You should check this one to see it is synonymy or no. You using this SQL code. To check this one, AREA. If it shows a synonymy, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Yeah. It's a public synonymy. So. By now, this is basically checking. Actually, the Oracle list uh, much more checking for one by one. So, mo most time, let's say you are it's, uh, with your time. So, 
The next one will be we're running pre-upgrade tasks. This is really check uh, it is working or not with some issues. So the pre-check, right, there is a pre-upgrade check script. One of them. What you have to do is uh, um, script is come with 19C. It's under 19C work at home here. What you need to do is to copy this file from 19C home to your 12C, which is the source database home, same location here. And then on the source, from the source home, your old database, 12C database, you're running this command, Java, call, this jar file, file text dir is the keywords do not change it you put your location where a file is output there when you finish this command go this location to check you should be able to see three files one is your log file another two file one is the pre-upgrade fix another one is the post upgrade fix you check your log files. The log files probably tell you which one you can fix, you cannot finish, fix or someone you, something you need to special way to fix. You check it to see what you have. In my case, clean. I generally do not have an issue at all. So what I'm doing is I just go ahead to running this pre-upgrade fix up cycle. It's running in the source database of 12C. Okay. When you finish running this one, the next step, we're going to really dealing with the upgrade. So this is done on the source, right? We go to the target database. Target database. Last time we already talked about it, backup database for upgrading and then we already did it, right? It's the last one, last video we show it. The database was migrated to a new location. So this part will be in document five, part five. Now we have database setting in the ASM. We're going to do the upgrade task now. The first thing, so the last time I mentioned is, you got to open your database in upgrade mode. So start upgrade, we're doing this. We set up environment. Home on 19C, this everything's on target system. So the database by now is in the mount model because they cannot be open normal. So the command we're going to issue is able database open reset logs upgrade in this way database can be open but no one can access it when you open the database here is the script you're going to run it so you go to work or home bin running this one this is not SQL code it's the shell script you're running it right when you run it Probably give you a lot of information about it. Uh, they are go through different steps, like steps, phase 74, all the way go to 100 and something. Right? If you don't have any issues, finally, you got some message here. Looks like it tell you what is upgraded and things will be looks like all on each options right when you look at this one you do not have issue that's great if i have issue fix your issue and then do it again so when you upgrade database the first step is done and then of course by now you can should be stuck database 
the database on your finished upgrade is down. It's not up. You log in with the SysDBA and then start up. Start up database. Database should be up. When database is up, right? The first thing is the probably is the, you have to do is they're running this another script called the UTL USTS dot SQL. This one generally can run in this way, take the default, but to say things there's two models for text or HTML. Default HTML, HTML, and then you probably got this error. So they suggest if you got this error, you're running the this way using text. I always run in this way using text. This script would be give you the information about database upgrade, just like some piece I will show you before. And then you see that everything is fine, upgraded, so you know the standards. There's one more step that work will provide is that uh, you can check your upgrade standards. I didn't do it all because the, everything you did, they already checked it. And you know what's the problem if you have the log of files. So in that case, I just post information here. If you really want to do it, you can download, I mean download the script from these nodes and do it. The next one, you compiled all of them invalid. There must be some invalid using the util rp dot sql. When you compile, the usually you have some invalid reason is the 19c security is different from 12c. Some sys privilege is gone. Also, some database link may not be there. So in our cases, something related to the database link. The next one will be post upgrade task. The post upgrade task, the first one, we put this one in our tab. If you do not have one, you put there so because set up environment, you need this one. Right? And then we're going to run in this to remember from the beginning, we create one code upgrade to fix up the post upgrade script, right? Copy this script from your source database server and then running it on your 19C database. It is going to change something internally to see what it is. When you the database upgrade is done, so database internally the sys password is not changed. What you can do, you can just copy this RAPW password file from your source server to your target server. Recovery catalog is dealing with the armor catalog. It's a thing I'm not going to talk about here because there's some procedure to follow if you're using database as a repository. The time zone is the one you have to deal with it. You know. From the 18C onward, including 19C, the script for time zone is changed. You have your tail, TZ, start with, and the count states, count start, right? And also TZ, UPG check, and the UPG apply. In your case, try to update it. You're just running this tool, UPG check, and the UPG apply. UPG check when you're running it to give you the information about your system. It says information here, so you really see, hey, you are on the DSTV 18, right? And then information say, by now you need to DSTV 32. And then the next step, you're just running it, running the UPG apply. And then it's going to update your time zone to the 32. Now, you basically your upgrade is already done, but you still need to compile the embedded uh, to 
to see what is the reason you have been invited to fix it. In our case, we cannot fix it. The reason is those are using database link. We still do not have this another database yet. So by now, the upgrade is done. The next one, what we'll talk about it is how we can move this database in a single database, single instance database, to the four node rack. See you next time.